Nathan Dempsey leading the attack. Nice play by Nathan Dempsey. Good night for Dempsey. People have asked me a little bit about my career, and if you look back on it, would you change anything? I don't think Nathan would change a thing about his life, his career, any of it. That's a good example of a guy who is in one organization and he's up and down the minors back and forth. That kind of molded who I was as a person and as a player. The story of Nathan Dempsey isn't one with championships or banners to celebrate the man that is. It is one that is often overlooked, like the many times he was in the minors before Nathan finally made a career in the NHL. It is a story of a man who loved the game that never quite loved him back the same way. There definitely were times where he wasn't sure if the stress of it was making him happy. The hockey always made him happy, but there were times where the frustration might have been taken away from a lot of that. The fact of the matter of you're trying to make it to the NHL and guys are getting called up ahead of you and you kind of wonder why, and there's a whole lot of emotions that are going through it at the same time. After his time with the Leafs organization, Nathan would find success with the Blackhawks and Kings, proving to the hockey world he had what it took to stay in the NHL. But not everything was right with Nathan. And at the time, I could feel a, a tremor kind of slowly becoming prominent on my left side. Um, my wife kind of noticed it before I did. He was trying to feed our daughter some food, and, and it was just watching her to try to get to the food in his shake. And that's the first time I said, there's something going on. I didn't want to talk about it. I, I kind of wanted to hide it um, as much as I could. I didn't really want anybody to know that I had it. Not necessarily for them, but more for myself. By then, Nathan had already spent months teaching himself to do his autograph with his right hand because he could no longer do it with his left. I feel like at times there was a little bit of denial that I, that I really had something here and that this was, wasn't going to go away, that this wasn't going to all of a sudden just not then wake up the next day and it's not going to be there. After five years of uncertainty, Nathan was diagnosed with early onset Parkinson's at the young age of 36. You can never be prepared for something like that, I don't think. Nobody in my family ever had Parkinson's and I didn't really know, you know why this would happen to, to someone like me. Why would this happen? Now, whether it had to do with the concussions, I had quite a few concussions when I played. Uh, whether that has something to do with it or not, they can't really say, but I believe that it did. Nathan retired from the NHL after one final season with the Bruins in 2007. I don't resent the game at all. You know, it's given me so much, given my family so much that I, I don't think I could ever really resent the game. Not willing to fully walk away from the game he loved, Nathan opened a year-round hockey development camp in Spruce Grove and is now the hockey campus director at the nearby Vimy Ridge Sports Academy. You wouldn't even know that he is going through what he's going through because he comes to school each and every day uh, focused on everyone else and not so much on himself and he always puts other people ahead of himself. To me that's the true sign of a, of a genuine person and someone that really wants to make a difference in other people's lives. One time we were talking about his job now and I was saying I feel like you're more content and happier in this job than you even were playing pro. What he said to me is, Tricia, I hit the lottery twice in careers. Go ahead. Do you think your walking is about the same or is... Uh, I think my walking is better. And my wife better. even noticed that she feels like it's better too. Parkinson's had shortened Nathan's professional hockey career, but he wasn't going to let it get in the way of his second career in teaching the game. Nathan decided to undergo deep brain stimulation surgery. That is an external device. We put electrodes or leads into the deep nuclei, deep motor structures into the brain to control the uh, motor symptoms of a few movement disorders. So the idea of dialing the physical symptoms back and bringing them back to you know his best um, or near his best was exciting. This is the first day back at any arena. I haven't seen any hockey with the school since I'm since my surgery. 
I'm excited to see them and yeah, good to be back in the mix again for sure. No championship or banner can truly define the lasting legacy of Nathan Dempsey. It is the impact he has on future generations where his legacy will live on. When you guys come on the ice and you guys are taking care of your business, make sure you're doing it in the right way. Make sure you're talking about things the right way. Make sure you're treating each other the right way. All right? Yeah. You good? Yeah. yeah. OK, good to see you guys. All right. Welcome back, Mr. Dempsey. Well, one of the major reasons why I, why I did the surgery is it's going to allow me to be on the ice as long as I can. Nathan's passion is on the ice and improving hockey players, keeping them in love with the game. And we soon realized that even with the symptoms that were creeping up, he was his best energy, healthiest, happiest when it was hockey season. I just love the look on their face and the expressions that they have when they get off the ice. And that just helps me a whole lot just to get through every single day, especially when you're dealing with stuff that I have to deal with.